I'm Grace and I'm the Graceful Storm working for Enterprise Asia. <sighs> How's everyone coping with phase two? And uh, yes, 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 yes. You all can gather together with your friends to get to get them. But still, we're on Toscan Orange. Don't overdo it, even though it might be a different shade of orange. From what I can see, we are at the melon orange shade. About there, I think so. So enough about oranges. Let's talk about sake. This uh, today, I'm gonna talk about this Hideyoshi sake Junmai Daigenjo in a sleek and black bottle. They recently just changed their label. See, this is 1.8. This is 7.20. So a little bit history. So Suzuki Shuzoten was founded in 1689 in the Horeki era. The warlock of uh, Akita. Lord Sadake praised the brewery sake by giving it the name Hideyoshi, which translates to extremely good, which is Hidete Yoshi. It used to be Hidete Yoshi, and they translate to a modern uh, word which is Hideyoshi. Easier on the time. So Lord Sadake made Hideyoshi the official sake of his clan ever since Hideyoshi has been a household name treasured by the local community. Today, their product reflect the unique taste and flavors of their local area. From the use of locally cultivated rice and fresh local water, their goal is to create delicious sake that respect and care for their local community. By doing so, they believe their company can help to preserve the rich culture and traditions of Akita. Their director, Mr. Suzuki is also the literal defender of the brewery because he always has a gun standing by in case there are any attacks from the local bears as the brewery is located next to a big forest. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. Bang bang bang. This special sake that we are tasting today is of great pedigree. It won the trophy in the Dreamai Daigenjo category of the International Wine Challenge last year. This means that it was the number one Junmai Daigenjo JDG. Out of almost 500 entries in the most heavily contest category. Mm -hmm. Big shot eh? Let's try how good it is. Where's my glass? It's here. <laughs> They gave up hiding glass from me. <laughs> I don't care because it's phase two. I deserve a drink or two. Right, you see, uh -huh, it's a little bit golden. Mm -hmm. Very clear, actually. Crystal clear. And sniff it. Oh, intense. Melons, notes, pineapple, uh -huh. oh it's a little bit citrusy too, it actually has a hint of uh, fresh grapes and lemon curd I would say, uh -huh. very delicate and refreshing. You know, this polishing ratio was uh, 40% and the alcohol content is only 15%. So it's really easy to drink. And it's really easy on the palate. Right, so this is something that you can drink the whole bottle, no problem for me. Because every sip is an enjoyment. What? This is damn good. So this taste, I think, goes well with um, some light taste dishes, something like um, lemon meringue tart or you know those cold pasta, cold angel hair pasta with uni. Mm. And actually, white fish, um, Japanese they call it shiromi, which is a non-fatty fish, very lean. Or maybe, I think this one goes well with um, Dobin Mushi, which is the um, traditional uh, teapot steam 
So it's at, it, it means uh, to steam a teapot. Dobing mushi means to steam a teapot. So seasonal ingredient will be added in like fish, vegetable, or mushroom to create clear stock. And then lastly, I put a little bit of dashi and then they steam it. Very light, delicate dish to go with this light, fruity, floral sake. Great pair. So I think that's it today. So don't forget to visit our website at theartofsake.com and also double tap on our Instagram and give us a like in our Facebook. See ya! Suzuki Shu Suzuki Shuzo Ten. Suzuki Shuzo Ten. Suzuki. Suzuki Shuzo Ten. Oreki Era. Sarake. Kirete Yoshi. Okay. So. Nee! Nee!